Okay, so I'm going to make these as quick as possible. So just make sure you're following along. This is the two-step equations example from the interactive notebook, just so you have a few different ones to see what they look like. So for example one here, if we look, we have multiplication here and subtraction here. And you don't obviously have to write this stuff, but I'm just writing this to show you what I'm doing. Remember we use inverse operations, so we have to get rid of subtraction or addition first. So that's this first. So this is one, this is two. The inverse operation to subtraction is addition. So we're gonna have to add 50, add 50. We're gonna bring down this 3x. Negative 47 plus 50 is the same thing as 50 minus 47. So this is going to be three. And of course you can check that with a calculator or you may know it in a different way. That's okay as well. So we have multiplication and we know this because these are shoved together. So the inverse to multiplication is division. And on the computer, this is gonna be one of the hardest things to do. So what I would do is I would hit enter Go ahead and put that th those two threes there. And then up at the top, there's a little symbol that looks like this, or there should be. This is how I create my division lines. Um, they don't have to be straight or anything. It's kind of hard actually to format that, but just do your best. So when you do that, you can create lines or one large line. Either is okay. So X is going to equal one. And we can check this. by plugging that one back into the original equation. So we have negative 47 equals three, X equals one. So don't forget that parentheses, minus 50. Go ahead and bring this down because we're not doing anything with it. Three times one is just three minus 50. And you can use a variety of ways to solve this, but what you get is negative 47 equals negative 47. Obviously these are the same number, so the answer was correct. So I like these examples because on first hand this looks like a one-step equation, but this is technically still a two-step. The eight here is positive, so it's a positive eight. This negative, so negative goes, put that in parentheses, negative goes with X, not eight. So what this means is that It's actually negative one times X. So remember all um, variables that don't have a number in front of it, there's always a one. This is just a negative one. So we're gonna have to get rid of that later. So if we look over here, we have multiplication and subtraction. This one technically has addition and multiplication again. So we know, sorry, this is a lot, but the important thing to remember is that this negative goes with X 
and that this is a positive eight. Obviously, if there's a negative, it's still a negative eight in front of it, if that makes sense. So here, we minus eight, minus eight. So we bring down that negative X equals negative three. Like I said here, it's actually negative one times X. So we're going to divide So you get x equals 3. And this is an easy check. You just put 8 minus 3 equals 5. You know that 8 minus 3 equals 5. So 5 equals 5. Moving into the third example, if we look here, this shows division, and yet again, we have subtraction. So much like with multiplication, we're not gonna actually change what we do here. Um, what we're going to do is first use, or get rid of subtraction. So what we're gonna have to do is we are going to add five add five so that h over 12 comes down and this is going to be 22 so think about it the inverse of multiplication was division so the inverse of division is going to be multiplication. So what we're going to do is we are going to times by 12 times by 12. And what I would do here, instead of showing it like this on your page maybe, because this might be a little confusing, um, I'm what I would do is probably maybe put x times 12 and x times 12 but this is going to bring down an h and then here we can think about this in a couple ways so 22 times 10 because remember this one shows a tens place that's going to be 220 and then 22 times 2 which is the ones place is going to be 44 so if we add 220 44, we're going to get 264. And we can check this. Obviously, this is not as easy as these two, <laughs> but it's still not difficult, especially if you have a calculator, including one on your phone. So where H is up top, we're going to put 264 divided by 12 minus 5 equals 17. So we know that when we divide it here by 12, it's going to equal 22 minus 5. And then 17 does equal 17. So we know that this is indeed correct. Last but not least, we have this one. So this is division again, and this has addition in it. That's an A, not another D. So we have to get rid of this first and the division second again. So what we're going to do is subtract by four, subtract by four. This is gonna leave negative 49 equals h divided by 2 and we know this is that because you're going more negative so it's basically like adding these together and then putting that negative there so what we're going to do here and this is super important make sure that you bring the negatives with you so none of the other examples really had one except for this one but obviously you're getting rid of it so it's kind of easy to tell so what you're going to do here is 
multiply both sides by a negative 2. We can go ahead and bring down this h. And when we multiply this by 2, it's going to be positive because these are both negatives. And how I'm actually going to do this is 2 times 50 is 100. So this is 49 times 2, so we subtract 2. And this is going to be 98. There are several ways you could look at this, though, that don't involve all of that. And that's okay. Um, I'm actually not going to check this, but I am going to tell you kind of a heads up on stuff like you need to check just to check your work but also some answers are going to be simple like this some are not going to be as simple another thing this is just my personal opinion of doing math these look like how they're supposed to how we consider equations to look these are not difficult. This and this do not make it difficult. Please, please, please don't find this way too difficult just because there is a division line. But as always, if you have any questions, please contact me at my email. As you guys know, next week's fall break, so we're going to have some practice most likely with this, but keep a heads up, um, an eye out for that. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.